G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hi. Yes, we're getting into another episode today of Friends. This one is Season 8, Episode 7. The one with the stain. The one with the stain. Mm. <laughs> Monica. It involves Monica, surely. <laughs> why? I don't know. Something tells me. Because of her OCD? Is yes. That why? Yes. Is that yes, why? yes. Yes, yes, yes. Something tells me it's definitely Monica. I don't know what it is. Just my Monica sense. Like a spidey sense? My Monica's sense is tingling. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, let's jump straight into it. If you want to go watch this in full, head over to Patreon and Kofi. All the links will be down in the description down below. It's the best way to support us and watch extra content every single day and in full over those sites. Go have a look. Links will be right down below. Real loss! Look at these floors! I have been begging you for months and you did! You cleaned! I didn't actually do this. Was I cleaning in my sleep again? <laughs> I got a maid. Yay! Oh, I hope by maid you mean mistress, because if some other woman was here cleaning, then... Yeah, honey? Relinquish is just a fancy word for lose. <laughs> she adored the way that you arranged the sponges. <laughs> yes, I distinctly remember because I thought it was a joke. <laughs> now... Well, usually when I'm this anxious, I clean. <laughs> Don't need to anymore. <gasps> There's nothing to clean now. Just go for a bike ride. Cell phone is that? It's just so annoying. <laughs> it's coming from your bag. <laughs> Everywhere you go. I never get calls. <laughs> Ursula's fiance. Oh my God, Eric, hi. Wait, how'd you get this number? I have a friend who's a cop and he got it for me. What an incredible violation and wonderful surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you should know I broke up with Ursula. He did it, he did it. <laughs> Shh, I'm talking. Anyway, I was wondering, <laughs> eats lunch? Are you asking me out? Bye. No, no, wait, I was just saying that so you'd think I was a good person. <laughs> Fight for me. Uh, I, I won't take no for an answer. I can be at your apartment in two hours. Well, uh, how do you know where I live? I've got friends, too. <laughs> okay, God, I'm going out with Eric. Oh, Ross, I can't make lunch. <laughs> So apparently I'm available for lunch. Yep. I'm busy. I'm apartment hunting. Can't live with Joey once the baby comes. I don't want my child's first words to be, How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Just heard in the elevator this morning that a woman in my building died. Was she old? Does she have a view? <laughs> Well, I don't know, but how, how great would that be, huh? I mean, if she just died this morning, out of respect. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> lady just happened to have died. This morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ross Geller. I live in the building. An admirer of the building. <laughs> Heard about Mrs. Verhoeven passing away. She didn't pass away. What? Oh, thank God. <laughs> She's a tough old bird. Uh, talk all the time in, in the... You speak Dutch. <laughs> you know, I would, but it's just too painful. So, she's really not dead? No. This she's hanging good. in there. Is she hanging in in a, in a one-bedroom or a two? <laughs> that was so awkward. <laughs> that was so awkward. Where did you get it? I'll make it myself. <laughs> it's just, you know what? We just met. <laughs> okay. When I come back, I'll clean behind the refrigerator. I love her. See, I told you. She stole my jeans. What? <laughs> I have been looking for them all week, and she is wearing them. Do you see? It's the perfect crime. <laughs> she must have been planning this for years. Left an ink stain on the crotch. I will find it and show you that stain. Okay. The company that sold the jeans made more than just the one pair. <laughs> Shouldn't we give her the benefit of the doubt before we go snooping around her crotch? <laughs> Fine. You end up like Homer Simpson in that episode. You know what we're talking about? Where he takes the babysitter home and he's like, uh, thank, thank you. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what is your secret ingredient? Yeah. <laughs> I saw Ursula, I had to get the engagement ring back. Oh. I get so angry just looking at her <laughs> face. I get a little bit angry. Oh, it's not gonna be. This is too weird. No, yeah, no, no, it's wait. not gonna end There's only right. a problem when I look at you. 
is this gonna take out my lenses? Oh, yeah, try that. But you still look like Ursula. <laughs> You're Blursula. <laughs> okay, wait. If, if I just don't look at you for a while, I'm, I'm not angry at all anymore. This, this is a great date. Yeah. Look, Eric, turn around. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Ooh, you just touched my hand. Did you mean to touch my hand? And second kisses. <laughs> Bedankt voor de koffie, Gunther. Je spreekt, dat is te kerk. Heb je familie daar? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Ezel. Ezel. Asshole. You wanna go see that new uh, IMAX movie on tide pools? Really? No. <laughs> but I got Nick's tickets for you, me, and Chandler. Okay, I, I just have to stop by my place first. You do this every time, Ross. You're not gonna be on TV. <laughs> I have to see if this apartment became available. But Rachel has an apartment. But yeah, but when the baby comes, she's gonna want to move. I mean, you don't expect her to live there with a baby, did you? Hey, Gunther, you're an Azel. <laughs> I have sex met Azels. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> nice jeans. Oh, thanks. I like your top. You're not good now. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Will you do the top of the cabinets? That would really work up your appetite for lunch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never had a maid before. Is this not okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I ate way too much. <laughs> That's Joey. Um, I was talking to Ross, and he said that you're looking for a new place. If certain Dutch people would just let go. I was kind of hoping you'd stay. It's a baby. It's like this big. <laughs> it's cute, right? Oh, oh, oh. Put it over here. Baby changes everything. They cry all the time. Could use a challenge. It's getting pretty easy. <laughs> I can't do that to you. I mean, it would disrupt your entire life. I love living with you so much. You know, I blame Ross for this. <laughs> I do too, a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. You're the hottest roommate I ever had. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Oh, I have a massage appointment. We'll keep doing this. I'll pay you. No, I've gotten in trouble for that before. <laughs> I love the way you kiss. That's the thing I'm worst at. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Okay. Hey, um, I think Brenda needs a raise because I put my head between her legs to see her pants. Okay. They're my pants. Are you sure? Oh, I was just getting into position and then everything went dark. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing my bra. Oh dear God. <laughs> my pink flowered bra. I recognize the strap. No. <laughs> I would do it, but she thinks I'm attracted to her. Did you not hear where my head was? <laughs> I fear a jury will see it the same way. Yep, yep, it's not wrong. This for me. Do you see this? Oh. <laughs> Cup, the lacy part, there's a very noticeable rip. You need new clothes. <laughs> it's not looking good. Oh, oh, blooming. <laughs> would you like to come in and say goodbye? I'm sure it would mean a lot to her. Her memory is pretty much gone. All right, then. I find that awkward as hell, dude. Should we pick up from where we left off? Our sex. We didn't have sex. <laughs> well, if I didn't have sex with you, I had sex with somebody that looked an awful lot like Ursula. Oh, oh, ew, oh, ew, oh, ew. Oh, oh, you had sex with Ursula? A, a little bit. <laughs> she, she, when she walked in, I thought she was you, and I kissed her, and oh, I was just so excited to see you. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> oh, you know what? This is too weird. No, no, it's not. I don't want to lose you. No, it's too weird. <laughs> you smell just like her. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> House full of widows. What are you doing? This is where I lean. Brenda, a bee. It's flown into your blouse and you better undo your buttons lest it sting you. <laughs> I think I know what's going on here. I know it must be hard that your wife is a lesbian. <laughs> but it's wrong. You're married. Can I just see your bra? Yeah. Where did you get those jeans? You gave them to me. Uh -oh. I didn't. All right, I took them. She's been accusing the wrong person. Oh, did you take my bra too? What bra? 
straw. You mean the one that you're wearing? <laughs> I quit. Sounds about right. That's Monica's fault. Mm-hmm. Bloody Monica. Uh, this is just to give you an idea. And maybe a mobile, you know, over the crib, till the baby comes, we can use as walkie-talkies. <laughs> Yeah. Why don't I hold on to him so there's no confusion? <laughs> <laughs> the baby is going to be crying. It's going to be loud. It's going to poop. Hello? <laughs> what about... Joey, a baby? <laughs> then maybe I don't want to be with that woman. Or maybe we'll just do it in the bathroom of the club. <laughs> Please, Rachel. I, I really want you to stay. I want me to stay, too. Oh, Joey, look at this crib. It's so cute. It's moving. Ooh. It's the baby. Oh, it's <laughs> the old lady died because her dying wish was for one last kiss. Oh. Because you got the apartment. Yes. Ooh, yeah. He kissed the dead lady. I think I'm gonna stay here. Isn't that great? <laughs> what? You assholes. <laughs> assholes. Assholes. Oh. Another good episode there, ladies and gentlemen. I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's good now because, like we've been saying, that um, where Friends was at the beginning, I think it was to frustrate people a lot that an, that's new to the TV series itself when it comes to Ross and Rachel. Mm -hmm. And now you really see, like, their focus isn't really on their relationship anymore. It's just their focus is more individually on the characters themselves. Mm -hmm. And still with Monica being a clown. <laughs> You're right. The stain had to do with Monica. I'm telling you, everything had to do with Monica. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, if, if, if you were like that, I would never be able to live with you like that. I'm telling you right now. That would be just impossible, dude. Nah, Absolutely impossible. You couldn't live with Monica either. No. Nah, the no way, way you have the I house honestly would all jump the out the balcony. You'd be like, Don't put that pen on the table. Don't do that. No. Clean you, your table. You know when they clean say when they say that uh, men go to the pubs and drink, I think I would start taking up drinking. <laughs> and I'll oh, be like, be, Yeah, yeah, I'm working late. You'll be recording and I'll be clean like you be cleaning yeah. your face like this, like Yeah. Yep, yeah, she will be. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what Monica would do. Exactly <laughs> what she would do. There you go, guys. Another good episode. Like I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below if you did. And if you want to go check this out in full, head over to Patreon. All the links will be down below. All right, guys. Take it easy. We're getting into the next episode. Speak to you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Come and keep chasing. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me. But they hate when you're successful because they try to be. They sit there being just mental because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job. Don't slack up.